When designing digital electronics, the more unique choices of solutions that exist, the better off we are because problems come in all sizes. The 4000 series of logic ICs offers a different variety than we saw in the 7400 series. In this lesson, we'll take a look through the different 4000 series ICs available and see what functionality they offer compared to the 7400 series. We'll also look specifically at a few useful 4000 series logic ICs. The best place to look when you're searching for a specific 4000 series logic IC is on Wikipedia's list. There, it lists the different devices available with a short description and sometimes even a link to the datasheet. In general, 4000 series logic devices tend to be more specialized and less low level than their 7400 series brothers, which you can notice right away as you look through the list and see all kinds of different devices. The three specific 4000 series logic devices that we'll be taking a look at today are the 4511, which is a seven segment LED display driver, a 4026, which is a 4-bit counter plus 7-segment LED display driver, and a 4008, which is a 4-bit adder IC. That's right, a calculator and a digital logic IC. To get a better idea of what these three logic ICs can do, it is best to go to the manufacturer's website and get the datasheet for the device. Now let's go through them all one by one. First, we'll take a look at what is called a 4-bit adder. This IC can take two 4-bit binary numbers, add them together, and give you the result in binary. The logic diagram for this device is a big mess, and I don't expect you to understand it, but merely to see that even something as complex as an addition circuit in digital logic comes back down to the logic gate level. The next interesting device is the 4026 4-bit counter and 7-segment LED driver. This device combines a lot of functionality together that we didn't see in any 7400 logic device. Again, the truth table and logic diagram show us exactly how this device works and what outputs to expect given a single clock input. We'll use this device later in an experiment to really get a feeling for what it does. The final device is the 4511. This is an IC with a sole purpose to convert BCD, binary coded decimal, into a decimal or a hexadecimal value to display on a seven segment LED display. If you're not familiar with seven segment displays, they look like this. The 4511 logic diagram and truth table show you exactly how the BCD value is converted and what output to expect on the seven segment LED given certain input. For this experiment, Let's use the 4026 to both count from a 555 timer and output to a seven segment display. Since this IC does it all inside, the schematic is actually not that complicated at all. Here's what it looks like. We'll need a power regulator at five volts, a 555 timer at 0 0.5 Hertz, the 4026 powered up and enabled, and the seven segment LED connected to the 4026. The parts we'll need to build this counting a display circuit are the jumper wire kit, a breadboard, a nine volt battery, and from the components kit, six 10 kilo ohm resistors, two 100 ohm resistors, one red LED, a 10 and 100 microfarad capacitor, 7805 plus five volt regulator, a nine volt battery connector, a 555 timer, a seven segment LED display, a push button, and a 4026 logic IC. To build this circuit, let's start as we always do with the nine volt connector and the 7805 five volt regulator. A yellow wire connects the ground from the 7805 to the ground bus of the breadboard and a green wire connects the five volt output from the 7805 to the power bus of the breadboard. Next, we place all of the parts down on the breadboard. Two red wires connect the power and ground bus of the breadboard together, 
and then we get started connecting the circuit together following the schematic. We'll do it the same as before with a time lapse of each circuit connection so you can follow along and build the circuit yourself as well. With the circuit complete, let's turn power on and see how it works. You can watch the counter slowly count up on the LED display. And it's much easier to read since it is in decimal and not binary with four LEDs. You'll notice when the counter reaches the count value of 9, it restarts over at 0 and counts up again. If we swap out the 100 microfarad capacitor with a 10 microfarad capacitor, the system starts to count a lot faster since the clock signal from the 555 timer is now going faster. If you wanted to, you could build this exact circuit with the 74HC193 4-bit counter and the 4511 7-segment LED driver IC that we saw earlier. But why would you want to do that? when the 4026 does the exact same thing in one IC. So you can see how looking at the different offerings of the 7400 and 4000 series logic ICs can give you many options as a designer and hobbyist for how to solve your digital logic problems. Four thousand series logic ICs are used all over the place just like the 7400 series logic ICs. The 4511 seven segment LED driver alone can be found in many cheap but modern electronics. We've even seen them in refrigerators, toasters, ovens, and dishwashers. However, sometimes in the real world, even the 4000 or 7400 logic ICs are not enough, and we have to make the leap to custom programmed logic devices like PLDs or FPGAs. But that's a topic for another day. All parts in this online course were provided by the Gadgetory. Visit them at gadgetory.com slash pyroedu. We hope you have enjoyed this introduction to Digital Electronics course and would like to give a gigantic thanks to all our Kickstarter backers who made it possible. Thank you all.